Brain Paint is a card game for two and up and for ages six and up. Now, this game comes with three separate games inside of it using the cards that are involved in it. Do I like it? It's okay. It's pretty fun. Most of it's just matching. While it is a system in its own self, um, it is pretty impressive to have three separate games come out of your one tin can. I do feel the games play very similar to each other. So why don't we go check it out really quick. This is Brain Paint. Three games in one. This game will come with all these colors in the form of cards with the word and then two separate colors as well. We'll start by going over one of the first games, Color Splat. Deal all the cards equally to all players. So this is going to be a two-player experience here. So players will take turns drawing cards from their stack and playing it in the center. So this player would go... You're going to keep doing this until the background color matches the background color of the most recent card played. So in this example, this green, this purple, this is green, purple, purple. So since this is a purple and the newest card played is a purple, both players are going to race to splat the center. The person who splats it gets to take the cards and hand it to their opponent, one of their opponents. This is a two player game, whatever. You'll add it to your stack. Now, let's say in a situation it goes down and you slap it and you're wrong, right? If you were to slap it incorrectly, you take the deck and you put it in your own group. Sometimes you'll get a color wheel card. If you were to play that, just move on to the next color. So green to purple. Now I mentioned difficulties earlier. That's because there's different ways to play this. You can do it by matching backgrounds, by matching the written word to the background, or from font color to word. First person to clear their deck wins. This next game that's also in the box is called Color Splash. Each player is going to get 10 cards and the rest is going to be split into two equal decks. Reveal the top card of both decks. So what people are going to be doing is looking at their hand and racing. We're all going to be playing simultaneously to relieve our hand of cards by matching either the font, the, the font color, the background color, or the text to any of the cards that are in the center. So like this would match here. All right, this would also match here because the green, the word green is blue and this is a blue background, right? And this person at the same time is also racing like, oh, well this is, okay, here we go. And that's orange, that's yellow there, so it says yellow. A color wheel will reset the stack so anything could be played on it. And let's say there's a, in a chance that you are stumped, nobody can play a card, just reveal the top card of the decks. You'll just look at your hand and start playing cards as fast as you can to relieve them by matching anything that you see on the card, whether it's the font color, the text itself, or the background color. First person to relieve their hand of cards wins. This is brain paint. All right, so, <coughs> so yes, as you can tell, the games are fairly similar. It's all matching and it's matching with the three types of colors that are involved on each card. Is it a good game? Well, it's playable, uh, it's quick. So I guess if you're looking for a little filler, it could be family friendly for people who do not know how to play games or are new to the gaming world. Is it something I would play? I don't know if I'd get it to the table as often as I'd like, nor would people want to play it. Reason being, it's very simple. It is a matching game and it's just a color game, um, which there's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. I think it's a great concept. I love that they're able to fit so many types of games into one system. And I think system games are very interesting. But I also feel that with system games, the issue is they all tend to play very similar to each other. So 
it's almost like just playing like alternative rules or something like that. The age kind of is a great indicator of who to play this game with. I think people who are learning, little people who are learning colors may enjoy this. I think the matching game is a good learning situation for them. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, I think the lack of artwork can kind of play into that and make it a game that isn't as appealing to kill to children. So my final thoughts are there is a lot going on with this game, but I don't think there is enough for this game, if that makes sense. Well, thank you for watching. This was Brain Paint. I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, and comment.